If you're watching this video today on Tuesday the 3rd of September, uh, MPs currently in Parliament are debating and are about to vote to take control of the parliamentary timetable to essentially stop no deal Brexit. But unfortunately for Remainers, uh, until now they've had the support of the European Union in terms of uh, essentially being in the same boat and trying to one, stop Brexit and then obviously try to stop no deal Brexit. But things have changed. So as the Remain MP is currently uh, trying to find a way to make it difficult for Boris Johnson and the government to make Brexit happen, the European Union have announced that they are essentially withdrawing their support for the Remain side. Remain a plot left in tatters as the EU says it won't force Boris to delay Brexit again. European Union leaders will not force Britain to extend Article 50 in order to avoid the no-deal Brexit, according to the Austrian Foreign Minister. Alexander Schallenberg said that it would be unthinkable of the bloc to force Britain to delay Brexit against its will. He insisted that Boris Johnson would have to travel uh, to Brussels and ask his EU counterparts to remain in the bloc past October the 31st. This will deal a blow to Remainers, who are hopeful are forcing the Prime Ministers to grovel for an extension to the EU's Article 50 exit clause in order to prevent a no-deal Brexit. Well, that doesn't sound too good for Remainers because their plan essentially tonight, again, if you're watching it right now, uh, because we don't know how the vote is going to be going until at least probably at 10 p.m., they want to take control of the timetable to basically force the government to ask for an extension, another extension from the European Council. Now, firstly, it is still up to the European Council to approve this extension. They could always veto it anyway, so it's not like the uh, parliamentary MPs could essentially make that extension happen on their own. But that's their first plan. And then they're going to uh, try and find a way to make sure that no deal doesn't happen, either by stopping Brexit completely or trying to force the government to keep negotiating until we get a deal. But the way things are looking, the European Union will not be approving a potential extension. But we'll see. On the other hand, a bit of good news for no deal Brexiteers. Just as how the European Union hinted that they might not even approve any extension, uh, Michel Barnier and Leo Varadkar have also said that they don't want the Euro European Union to give Boris Johnson and Britain a new deal, which means Get ready for no deal Brexit. No deal it is. Barnier and Vratka are desperate to stop the European Union leaders from gifting Boris Johnson a new deal. Michel Barnier is leading a charge to prevent EU leaders from offering Boris Johnson a number of Brexit concessions amid fears a number are buckling under the pressure of no deal Brexit. EU sources have revealed that key figures will this week increase their resistance to any plans presented by Mr. Johnson's chief negotiator, David Frost. Officials in Brussels want to restrict positivity in London after comments made by Mrs. Merkel and France's Emmanuel Macron were deemed to mean the EU is ready to change the withdrawal agreement. The EU is said to be unhappy after Mr. Johnson has gained the upper hand in the Brexit negotiations and the way the talks have been spun by his team. Also, Guy Verhofstadt is expected to make his support for Mr. Barnier's hardline approach. So get ready. So the way things are going, even if the Remainers take control of the parliamentary timetable and Brexit, uh, firstly, the EU could veto the extension. And two, they're going to make it even more difficult to get any sort of deal. So no deal is still default. On the other side, uh, Nigel Farage pointed out a huge error in the Remainers plot. The Brexit party leader Nigel Farage has suggested that if MPs were so concerned about proroguing Parliament, they should have just cancelled the party conference season uh, or their holidays uh, in the summer. And he's right, because the current suspension of Parliament is essentially, the, most of it is throughout the whole uh, conference season, which everyone's off already. So if uh, these passionate Remain MPs were so concerned about the situation with Brexit, they would have just cancelled the whole thing before Boris Johnson suspended and added like four or five extra days on top of it. Now, with all this messy business going on in the House of Commons, uh, the Labour Party are divided once again. As you remember, Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party have been going around every day asking for a general election. And a few days ago, when Boris Johnson and the team hinted that they might call an election, uh, the uh, initial response and reaction from Labour HQ was, uh-oh, 
We don't want an election. Why? Because they're losing in the polls. But the moment Tony Blair came out to essentially advise Jeremy Corbyn not to say yes to Boris Johnson's election request, the Labour HQ changed their mind again. Jeremy Corbyn causes chaos in Labour as furious MPs attack leader for supporting a general election. Labour was in chaos last night as divisions over Brexit ignited fresh splits at the top of the party. Now the Shadow Cabinet and Jeremy Corbyn are still split because uh, half of the Shadow Cabinet don't actually want to have an election because they know they will lose and Jeremy Corbyn is just obsessed with campaigning. For example, the Shadow Brexit Minister Jenny Chapman, who openly contradicted the Labour leader, insisting that the party would vote to block a snap election if there was a possibility that it allowed a no-deal Brexit. Labour's mission here is to prevent a no-deal, she said. If that means a general election can't happen at the particular point, then stopping no deal must come first. Now, I wonder who's gonna win this battle, Jeremy Corbyn and his crazy momentum side, or the other crazies? Now, we're gonna have to wait and see how everything goes in the next few days, especially tonight's vote in Parliament. So if you're new to this channel, we cover this uh, every day at 6 p.m. right here, so make sure you subscribe. And I just want to thank everyone because a couple of days ago, we finally hit 50,000 subscribers on this channel. And I think we're already on over 56,000, so thanks again. Uh, if you want to follow me on social media, as always, you could find Twitter, Instagram right down here. And if you want to support the channel, you could become a member of the Cabinet Club. Uh, the link is in the description, as always. Check it out. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the notification bell next to it because you won't get notified otherwise. And my name is Maya Tusi, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.